Swissborg is the official partner of my channel where you can buy, sell, hold, and more importantly, stake your cryptocurrencies. You can even earn yield on your stable coins. Sign up with my link and you'll earn up to $100 worth of their native token CHSB just for depositing 50 euros worth of crypto. Swissborg. Hello everybody, welcome back. Let's have a look at Bitcoin as things are actually looking quite good now. So we're on the one hourly chart sort of carrying on from yesterday with the bullish divergence that formed uh, and then basically broke out, which is looking pretty good. Moved into this box and now we're outside of the box. That was uh, complemented by this pump signal that uh, that took place, which launched us up to this level here, about 20,165. Now again, you know, I was uh, on the sidelines waiting for some form of confirmation for American markets to open. And then when they opened, things started to look pretty good. So I took a few scalps yesterday, You've seen that on the the telegram but um outside of that I'm, I'm still looking for what would i consider to be you know a trend form for a bit more long term because obviously i've got i've got a lot of crypto but you know as far as positioning myself for large amounts i'm still happy to sit on the sidelines given the uh, given the overall trading environment and as we move towards friday which is earnings for traditional markets i don't imagine it to be very favorable so whatever we get between now and friday uh, we should uh, we should be grateful for because I would be very surprised to see it continue past Friday but we'll see what happens honestly we'll just see what happens uh, it does feel like that this is all going to get faded across traditional markets into crypto you know by Friday uh, but again yeah we'll wait and see <coughs> excuse me right so the thing that i'm focused on right now is on the four hourly for bitcoin we're about to and it, it's not happened yet we've got, we've got another three hours before this candle body closes uh, we're about to what would appear to be a, a trend form on the ichimoku cloud on the four hourly which would be actually pretty decent uh, until we get the signal though it's not yet to be confirmed we have to have the uh, the price above the cloud we have to have the chiku span above the price and we've also got to get the cross uh, which is going to take place above the cloud so these three components would say a trend has begun and then it'll also tell us when to get out of the trend or if the trend is or, or if the signal has failed and um, obviously you, you know without having to explain how the itchy cloud works on every one of my videos you might as well look for the tutorials on my uh, on my patreon or the telegram or discord or wherever anyway so yeah, things are looking quite good here, I have to say, uh, for continuation. Uh, just remember, like I say, Friday could uh, put an end to this. Now, we've reached a natural peak on this daily. Whoa. A natural peak, which is the Bollinger Band top. Uh, the Bollinger Bands are quite tight. We're above all other moving averages of significance. We were waiting for this over the weekend, weren't we? Looking to not just uh, reclaim this box, but the box was also now above the 20, exponen uh, 20 simple and the 20 exponential, 10 exponential as well. We're above all of that, but we've had a clean rejection so far on the Bollinger Band top. I don't think that that's a problem. I think we kind of stay around this box for the moment, so long as we can hold this four hourly together enough to get that signal. And this signal will be one worthy of, uh, of, of, uh, of of trying to play it, to be honest with you. The perfect scenario when you get one of these um, itchy cloud conversion baseline crosses above the cloud for a trend signal to continue up would be to, uh, before or shortly after, form a golden cross. And if we think about the trajectory of this, 10, uh, this 50 exponential, this green um, moving average, kind of moving up a little bit like this. It's going to take a few days unless we start to move up even higher uh, in the short term it will make this bend up even more and we'll get this cross over this white moving average here which is your 200 exponential so that'll be a, a golden cross and if we get this signal uh, followed by a golden cross which at this uh, you know at this current rate was going to take the best part of the week to be honest with you to reach the apex three days then that would be that would be a really good setup there for further upside but uh, like I say, at the moment, we don't actually have the Golden Cross, nor do we actually have the uh, the trend uh, signal on the 4 hourly. But we are looking quite promising, definitely. Right, so overall, I uh, I really do like the, uh, the way that this is moving. It wouldn't surprise me to see a little bit of a cooling off period for today uh, on, on Bitcoin. Uh, it depends how traditional markets choose to behave. Forex markets as well. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be at all concerning to see it kind of go sideways, maybe even test the range lows of that box, which is, you know, between 19,700, 19,400. So t test these areas. Maybe just test the 10 exponential uh, on the 4 hour, which is currently coming in at around 19,005. That would all be perfectly fine, actually pretty healthy, considering we've, we've moved quite high quite fast, given the, the size of the Bollinger Bands are quite tight. You know, being brought back in them is 
that's where 95% of the price action takes place within a Bollinger Band. So when you see ourselves come out of a Bollinger Band, you should expect to be reabsorbed back in while we wait for the Bollinger Bands to expand themselves. So it, it, today could easily just be a testy, choppy day, to be honest. It could easily be a choppy and testy day. We have to honestly see how traditional markets open um, in America, obviously. Who cares about the, <laughs> the rest of the world? You can concentrate on Forex markets if you're waiting for the American market to open. So Euro and Pound which are also bouncing so far so good on those supports that we established uh, last week. So things things do look quite good, but be prepared for a bit of downside in the short term, maybe come down retest these zones, maybe even the bottom of the range, 19,004, 19,005. If we start to close uh, four hourlies below, below 19,350, uh, I would be looking for this to probably come all the way back down to where we started from, um, with or without this signal being generated. But so far it does look good, quite promising. I'm, I'm, I'm very keen to see this continue up. And the targets that we specified previously uh, were, it did seem reasonably high, to be honest with you, but I, I still favor you know the upside of this previous area over here. So retesting this kind of high on this current run up, if we get that signal as well, I'd, I'd say that's not a guarantee, but it's very likely to see 22,300 get retested and then see where we go from there. Uh, if we do break through from that level, yeah, we've got 24 to 25, but I, I would be looking for about 26, 27 to get tested over a period of weeks. Again, we got that earnings coming through, which is a bit of a problem. We got all all kinds of black swan style vicious vultures that are circling these charts. And so to see a chart behave this way, which is encouraging, uh, you do still have to sit back and go, well, there's a lot more going on just behind this chart. But this chart alone does look quite good so far. By the end of the day, we should have that setup and signal, uh, which should add a bit more confidence to the upside on this one. But for the moment, it does look quite good. I'm, I'm quite impressed with it. But today could easily just be a, a bit of chop chop. Right, thanks for watching. Hope you have a nice day. Take it easy.